two-year-old female here for pain for about a month in the antecubital crease here. Um, she had an MRI which shows some moderate tendinosis in the distal biceps tendon. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of compare ultrasound findings to the MRI. Here's our radial capitella joint. And here you can clearly see the radial head articulating with the capitellum. You can see the overlying brachialis muscle as well as a glimpse of the biceps muscle. And here in this view, you can see the layering of the brachialis tendon with the overlying biceps tendon above that. And here you're looking at the very lateral aspect, I believe, of the trochlea. And you can see the coronoid fossa just above that. And now we're back to the capitellum articulating with the radial head. And you can notice the difference of shape of the capitellum versus the lateral aspect of the trochlea. As here, the capitellum has a larger diameter and is also not as sharply curved as the trochlea. do a medial approach where you're basically using the brachial, brachial artery as an acoustic window. So here we can see the brachial vasculature. And here at this level I'm calling it the radial artery since we're right over the radial head where you would not expect the brachial artery. However, as you go proximal then you would expect to find the brachial artery. Once you get that, you are at 10, 11, you want to kind of shift and angle your probe. And here you can see the biceps tendinosis as it inserts on the radial tuberosity. Here again we can see that biceps tendon coming at the, towards the bottom of the screen. You can see some thickening of it. We're actually getting a fairly decent view here through this medial approach. And again here you can see the thickening of the biceps tendon as it inserts. You can see it feeding into the biceps muscle as well. And here, as we move the probe in different directions, we can see how the brachial artery is branching off into the radial and ulnar arteries. Here, um, right side of the screen is radial, left is uh, ulnar or medial. So we got the biceps tendon right on top. We can just follow that down. It converges into our biceps tendon. And here you can see the biceps tendon with some residual biceps muscle around it. And I believe there is a high division of the brachial artery here into the radial and ulnar arteries. And here you can begin to see the, what I believe the common interosseous artery branching off the ulnar artery. And again, here you can see the ulnar artery and the radial artery superficial to that. And the ulnar artery is beginning to give off the common interosseous artery, which then feeds into the anterior interosseous artery. And again, you can see the radial artery superficial to that which is also going lateral as well, kind of parallel to the common interosseous artery, which subsequently divides into the posterior and anterior interosseous arteries. Here we can see the distal biceps tendon close to its insertion on the radial tuberosity. You can see the ulnar artery just medial to that. Also again, you can see the radial artery superficial to the biceps tendon. Radial artery courses just lateral to the pronated teres muscle. Here you can see some color Doppler and you can see the ulnar artery in blue on the bottom and the radial artery in red on top. Also you can see the common interosseous artery branching off the ulnar artery. And the, the tendon is essentially right next to that. So you can kind of follow that and that's what your landmark is for where your tendon is. So I'm going to toggle it again. Let's see the tendon. Let's see if I can go even deeper now. Now it's inserting on the radius. We really kind of start to lose it at 1014. Again, here you can see the biceps tendon near the radius with the ulnar artery medial and the radial artery superficial to the biceps tendon. I'm going to do a little lateral approach now of it. Here, right side of the screen is proximal. So this, this approach I find pretty helpful for looking at the distal aspect of the tendon. You can see the biceps tendon going down. And here's the biceps tendon going diagonally across the bottom of the screen onto the radial tuberosity. You don't actually see it inserting on the bone. Towards the radial head. See the radial head with the supinate muscle above that. Also, you can appreciate the brachioradialis muscle, which is above the biceps tendon. And again, here's the biceps tendon just coming diagonally across the bottom of the screen, feeding into the radial tuberosity. Nice view of the supernatal muscle with the overlying pronated teres. Keep going. And again, here you can see some nice motion, and you can see that biceps tendon coming in and out of view with pronation and supination.